In this session, let us learn about Web Storage. HTML Web Storage API. HTML Web Storage better than cookies. With Web Storage, web applications can store data locally within the user's browser. Before HTML5, application data had to be stored in cookies, including in every server request. Web Storage is more secure and large amount of data can be stored locally without affecting website performance. Unlike cookies, the storage limit is far larger, at least 5 MB, and information is never transferred to the server. Web storage is per origin, per domain and protocol, all pages from one origin can store and access the same data. HTML Web Storage Objects HTML Web Storage provides two objects for storing data on the client. Window Local Storage stores data with no expiration date. Windows Session Storage stores data for one session. Data is lost when the browser tab is closed. Before using web storage, check browser support for local storage and session storage. If type of storage is equal to is equal to undefined, code for local storage, session storage, else sorry no web storage support. The local storage object. The local storage object stores the data with no expiration data. The data will not be deleted when the browser is closed and will be available the next day, week or year. See the code and the result. Check browser support undefined. By writing and executing this code, the result returns this. Example explained. Create a local storage name, value paired with name, last name and value Gopikrishna. Retrieve the value of last name and insert in, into the element with ID result. The example above could also be written like this. Local storage last name Gopikrishna. Retrieve. Document get element by ID result inner HTML local storage last name. The syntax for removing the last name local storage item is as follows. Local storage remove item last name. Note. Name or value pairs are always stored as strings. Remember to convert them to another format when needed. The following example counts the number of times a user has clicked a button. In this code, the value string is converted to a number to be able to increase the counter. See the result and code by writing and executing this code. Click, but, click the button to see the counter increase, close the browser tab or window and try again and the counter will count, continue to count, is not reset. The result returns this. See here, click me, click the button to see the counter increase, close the browser tab or window and try again and the counter will continue to count, is not reset. See result 2, click me, you have clicked the button one time, click the button to see the counter increase. If you click second time, automatically it shows sec two times. Close the browser tab or window and try again and the counter will continue to uh, continue is not reset. The session storage object. The session storage object is equal to the local storage object except that it stores the data for only one session. The data is deleted when the user closes the specific browser tab. The following example counts the number of times a user has clicked a button in the current session. See the code and result. See by writing and executing this code. You will get the result like this. See here. Click the button to see the counter increase. Close the browser tab or window and try again. And the counter is reset. See result 2. You have clicked the button two times in the session. Click the button to see the counter increase. See here. By how many times you click. The count will show here. Okay, friends, this is the end of HTML part 69 web storage. In next video, let us learn about another topic web workers. If you like our program, please like, subscribe, and press bell icon for our next part video updates. Thank you, friends. Meet you in next video. All the best.